AMD officially revealed Ryzen 7000 series processors based on the new Zen 4 microarchitecture and manufactured on a 5 nanometer node. In total, AMD introduced four new CPUs. Those are Ryzen 5 7600X, Ryzen 7 7700X, Ryzen 9 7900X and 7950X. In this video, I will cover their specs, performance, release date and price. Additionally, I will tell you about the price as well as features for the new AM5 platform and AMD 600 series motherboards, which you will have to buy to pair with the new Ryzen 7000 processor. But first, an ad from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. Now back to the video. A $299 Ryzen 5 7600X is the least expensive processor in the stack. I doubt that AMD will be releasing anything less expensive under the Ryzen 7000 series name. But it is possible that budget-friendly options such as Ryzen 5 5600X, which is now being sold for well under $200, will remain on the market to fill that niche. 5600X is still a very good CPU for gaming, so don't be discouraged by this new AMD release if you are planning to buy a 5600X for $170. The performance will be good and you will save some money. However, Ryzen 5 7600X is a very impressive processor if you are willing to spend more money. It has 6 cores and 12 threads, 5.3 GHz core boost, 38MB of cache and 105 watts TDP. In terms of gaming performance, 7600X beats Intel's flagship i9-12900K processor in gaming by 5%, that is according to AMD. We still have to wait for independent reviews to verify this claim. However, AMD has been pretty accurate with their claims in the past several years, so I have no reasons to doubt that this claim is true. Ryzen 7 7700X with a $399 price tag is replacing the Ryzen 7 5800X. It is an 8-core, 16-thread processor with 5.4 GHz core boost, 40 MB of cache and 105 watts TDP. There is no Ryzen 7 7800X, so the next one up the stack is Ryzen 9 7900X with 12 cores and 24 threads. 5.6 GHz boost, 76 MB of cache and 170 watts TDP. The halo product of the new generation is Ryzen 9 7950X at $699 MSRP. It features 16 cores and 32 threads, a record-breaking 5.7 GHz core boost, 80 MB of cache and 170 watts TDP. This right here is the most impressive CPU in AMD's arsenal in 2022. But I have a spoiler for you. Ryzen 7000 series processors with 3D vCache are coming sooner than you might think. And they will bring an insane performance uplift in gaming. I will reveal more information about these 3D vCache CPUs in an upcoming video, so subscribe if you don't want to miss it. But for now, Ryzen 9 7950X will be dominating the gaming as well as creator performance. AMD claims that 7950X is 15% faster than 5950X in gaming, which means that it is around 12% better than Intel's 12900K. As for the creator app's performance, on average 7950X is over 40% stronger than 5950X. Also, there are a few comparisons versus 12900K. In V-Ray Benchmark, 7950X has up to 62% better ray traced performance and up to 47% better performance per watt. The entire Ryzen 7000 series CPU stack is dominating Geekbench single core test. 7950X shows an 11.5% better result than 12900K. 
If you want to know about the IPC increase, it is 13% compared to Ryzen 5000. And thanks to the massive overall improvements, Ryzen 7000 is 29% better in single thread performance. All four new AMD processors will be available to buy starting September 27th. Now let's talk about the new AM5 platform and the motherboards. The cheapest B650 motherboards will start at $125. It looks like there are no plans to release the cheaper A620 motherboards to replace the A520. In total, there will be four motherboard types. X670 and X670 Extreme will be available in September, while B650 and B650 Extreme will hit the shelves in October. The Extreme models will come with PCIe Gen 5 support for both storage and graphics cards, while X670 and B650 will have PCIe Gen 5 for storage only. AMD promised that they will use AM5 platform for future CPU generations at least until 2025. Technically, it means that there will be at least one more generation of Ryzen processors on this platform, because according to the current roadmap, AMD plans to release Zen 5 processors in 2024. But I think we will see at least three Ryzen generations launch on AM5 because of that plus symbol next to the 2025. In terms of memory, you will have to go for the DDR5, as there are no DDR4 options available. AMD confirmed that the best memory speed to pair with a Ryzen 7000 processor is DDR5-6000. However, if you are a gamer, I don't expect a slower, more affordable DDR5-5200 or 5600 to have a significant enough performance gap versus the 6000 memory kits. Overall, I am very happy with what I have seen about the Ryzen 7000 series so far. What about you? I expect the upcoming Intel 13th gen CPUs to match Ryzen 7000 at least in performance. FYI, we don't have an official announcement date from Intel just yet. But the latest rumors suggest that Intel is planning to reveal the 13th gen processors on September 27th during the Innovation Day event. If you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do with the like button. It was I, Vadim, until next time.